Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> I'm Ashley, I'm with Florida Shelling, and today we have another tutorial. So we are gonna be playing with vinegar. Um, so I pretty much have done every cleaning video that I can think of to date, except for this one. And I've been meaning to do it for a while. So today is the day. So. In a moment, I am going to show you what I have and how we're going to do it. Now, the cool thing is I heard and I saw online that if you let this, the shell sit in vinegar overnight, it'll pretty much dissolve completely. So we're not going to let it sit there overnight. We're going to kind of play it by ear, do a time lapse and see what happens. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Fingers crossed. This is my first time doing it, so we're doing it together. <laughs> All right guys, here goes nothing. So the first shell we're doing is a distant cone. As you can see, it's got dirt there. It has, all these shells have been cleaned. So we're gonna do this one, see if they can't kind of clean it up, especially in the crevices. We have the Mitra Mitra. The Mitra Mitra, again, is clean. It's a little dusty. By dusty, I mean it gives off this white residue powder. I have a Zebra Arc. The Zebra Arc is, um, we got a bunch of calcium in the ridges and then finally we have a coon oyster or a fond oyster whichever you prefer and again this is clean it's just been cleaned with um soap and water so well not actually no soap just water so let's see what happens first up i've got my cleaning vinegar lavender scent from white house is all natural and let me open it. It's a brand new bottle. Pour some in. And actually, let me put the shells in first. Here we have our shells. It looks like nothing is happening. They're bubbling just a little bit, but vinegar is the clean all. So let's let those sit for a little while and see what happens. Now, I didn't put any water in with this. This is just straight vinegar. So it looks like, oh, and I also had a Murex in there, I forgot to show you guys, and a Hawaiian Hebrew cone. And the Hawaiian Hebrew cone is a very large one, and it just has a lot of like, brown on it and just a bunch of calcium buildup. Same thing with the Murex, it's buildup from the ocean. So it looks like that's pretty good. I'm gonna add just a little more vinegar so that distant cone is gonna be fully submerged. There we go. Not much to look at while it's doing its thing. <laughs> Let's 
see. Okay, so the distant cone is really starting to bubble up now. The Mitra Mitra has bubbles all over it. The coon frond isn't doing much. Hebrew cones bubbling. Same thing the murex and turkey wing. Something's definitely happening though. I would guess that you would just leave this in for about three minutes. So we'll leave it in for another minute and then take them out. And the good thing is with this, we can just pour it down the drain. Bubbles are appearing, that's good. I see little flakes of stuff. And I just remember that I read that when the top of the water starts to have this buildup, that's when you should take the shells out. So there's not much of a buildup right now, just a little bit. So I think what I want to do is I want to put you guys on time lapse. Okay, guys, we are all done. So I took the shells out of the water, out of the vinegar, and when I took the shells out of the vinegar, I just took a toothbrush and under the running water and just gave them a light scrubbing. So that gets rid of the vinegar smell and then got in those little cre uh, crevices. And I also mixed it with soap and, well, the water was mixed with soap. So the Mitra Mitra came out really nice. Here is the oyster frond. Look how good that one turned out. That's really good. This is the zebra arc. And the vinegar is, is eco-friendly too. So if you're looking for a nice sustainable way that doesn't hurt the environment, I highly recommend vinegar. Here's the murex. This one I believe had the biggest change. Look at that. All the colors have came through. It doesn't really smell like vinegar. The soap and water was able to dilute it. And then this one also had a really big change, this Hawaiian Hebrew cone. And so you guys didn't see it in the beginning, but it mainly looked like that, but the whole cone was covered with the brown. Now, for shells like this that aren't completely clean, what you do is you soak it in vinegar again and you just repeat the process. So, um, what you could do next time, or what I could do, is instead of scrubbing it under the hot soapy water, you could scrub it in the vinegar and that will work as well. So. That's it. That concludes our simple tutorial on how to clean shells with vinegar. If you're interested in other ways to clean your shells, um, I will put the links below. They are our uh, bleach and water mixers. There's muriatic acid. I have a bunch of videos on that because it's just fun. <laughs> um, what else? I've done hydrogen peroxide. So I will always continue to do tutorials on how to clean shells. So if you have any suggestions and want to see me clean anything, let me know because I'm up to 
can use anything just to see what happens, especially when I use salt. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you later.